Hi, in this video we are going to learn how to install Red Hat using VirtualBox. So let us start with the installation process. In the last video we have discussed how to install VirtualBox and in this video we are going to learn how to install Red Hat using the VirtualBox. So once we have installed VirtualBox you will see the setup like this. So you can see here on the left hand side there are a couple of machines that I have already installed. So in your case if you have installed the fresh installation for VirtualBox there will be nothing like this. So what you need to do is click on new, give a name to your machine, so let's suppose sample Red Hat, folder you need not to change this tells where the virtual box or the virtual machine is installed. Now you need to select the ISO image that you have downloaded, click on skip unattended installation. Next, here you need to give some memory or the RAM to your machine. So by default it is 2 GB which is enough, processors one is fine, You, if you want to increase you can increase, okay. So let's suppose I take 2, click on next, this is the size, so 20 GB is given by default, that will be good enough size, if it is less you can increase it to 20 GB, click on next click on finish. So you can see here the entry for the new machine that we have just installed. Now we need to actually start the installation process for Red Hat. So select this and click on start. So your virtual machine is powering up. Right, so you can see here there are two options install or test. So we will install and close this window. So now the installation setup has started. It is very straightforward, very intuitive. The interface is going to ask you a few things. You just need to provide that basic information and the setup will be done on its own. Select your preferred language, click on continue. Now if on this interface wherever you see a red entry like this, so this means you need to provide some information for this particular entry only. Click here, select the hard disk for the installation part, the 20 GB that we have created earlier. Click on done. No disk, okay, just need to do it again. Somehow it did not go through. Click on done. Right, alright, so now that red entry is gone, so this is fine. We need to see any other red entry, so it is for the root password. Click on root password. Provide the password for the root user or the administrator. Do remember this password. Click on done. And begin installation. So your installation process has now started. Alright, so once the installation process is complete, we can click on reboot system and your system will restart. So now we need to do a few basic settings, click on start setup. So this you can adjust according to your needs, whether you want to allow location services, click on next, connect your online account, so I am going to skip as of now, okay, so this is a, you need to provide a user which will be using the system apart from the root user. So you can give your username, full name or username, click on next, give it a password. 
confirm the password and start done. So I hope that you are able to install Red Hat and now you are ready to access the command prompt which we are going to learn in the next video.